Now, those fighting to reclaim their lives and dignity from the stranglehold of drugs and alcohol abuse tell stories of pain and frustration. Tonight, in the second part of our continuing series on phase two of the crackdown, Raquel Migai tells us the story of Cyrus Gidaiga, who says he has nearly every drug known to man. Take a look. It is here at the Karatina Recovery Center where we meet with Cyrus Gidaiga, who despite being a counselor here, does not shy away from narrating his younger adventurous years of being a drug and alcohol addict. I used to feel, to see, as if it is something good associated with big people. And I thought I should try it. And I used to follow them once they drop their filters, or keep a corner, I pick the filter, I smoke it. He was barely 10 years old then, but that marked the beginning of his exploration on the drugs that will give him a better high or perhaps an ecstatic adrenaline rush. Not long after and contrary to his age, he had his first sip of alcohol. And like many others, his taste buds would revert to always demanding for a similar sip. Gradually, one sip became one too many. I used to have three jackets, a leather jacket and two puff jackets. And I used to wear them when I'm going to the ghetto, so no one can notice that I'm a student. So I just pop in the ghetto, I drink my chaga, I buy my drugs, I go back to school. His education seemed doomed. Alcohol, cigarettes and bang, popularly referred to as weed, had already stamped authority over his life. His sister, who had tried to form a stronger bond with him to pull him out from the deep pit, was however in for a surprise. So I to end up at him. Four different schools later, having managed to complete his secondary education in 2004, his addiction was now full-blown. He had also been introduced to cocaine. His family, who had already done enough talking and now watched his youthful ears waste away, were left to depend on higher powers through prayer. Asubi, iyo diyo ilikuwa fast rehab yake. Uko diko alipeleko kwanza. By the way, uko alienda, akakaa one month. After one month, au kapiga simu. Wakasema hui mtu, mkudieni? Nini? Alikuwa merukia uko do, ananda na nunua bagi, anarudi. Na nawambia mina taka kuenda home. Statistics show that 70% of Kenyans are related to or know someone who is battling alcoholism or drug addiction. But only one in ten seeks treatment for their problem. For Cyrus, it took three rehabilitation centers to commit himself to becoming better. I found myself to be a different person. I wake up to my heart that is not in distress, serenity, and I'm able to face the day, no matter what. So uh, I'm able to like face my challenges, my daily challenges. And that is what I like most about recovery. It is in his recovery journey that Cyrus was able to get a certificate in addiction counseling. And here at Karatina Recovery Center, where he works as a counselor, he has used his story to change lives. For Cyrus, it has been a success story on the fight against alcoholism and drug addiction. But for hundreds of other youth, the recovery journey is a road much dreaded. For their families, an expensive venture. And for the society, perhaps an unanswered prayer for the affected. Raquel Mwigai, KTN News.